Welcome to this short presentation of the Teachers Training Program in Religion in Leuven. KU Leuven is the largest university in Belgium and holds 45th place in the World University Rankings. The Center for Academic Teachers Training in Religion at KU Leuven offers in Flanders the only curriculum to acquire an educational master's in religion. The program holds a preparatory program of 15 ECTS and a master of 90 ECTS. The master's is composed of a training in the domain of theology and religious studies and a didactical practice in religion. It is open for Dutch-speaking students with a bachelor's in theology and religious studies. The curriculum prepares students to become teachers of Catholic religion in Catholic schools, or teachers of religious education in public schools in Flanders. Religious education in Belgium is confessional. Beliefs are presented from an inside perspective by someone who is a confessional member of that religion and who has a mandate by the ecclesial authorities to teach that course. In this presentation, we describe how we developed in the past 20 years a comprehensive curriculum to enable students to teach qualitatively from such a confessional perspective in a highly secular school context, including Catholic schools, and with an extreme pluralism among student and staff population. Moreover, theology students themselves who enroll in K. Lubin Center for Academic Teachers Training in Religion, even if most of them are baptized Catholics, are no longer strongly initiated in the Catholic tradition, or are no longer practicing Catholics. We constructed this presentation around the central concepts and theories that are used for the formation of our students. Altogether, they form a consistent approach to context-based religious teachers' training, called the Leuven Hermeneutical Communicative Model of Religious Education. This is the model recognized by the Belgian Bishops' Conference and which forms the basis for the curricula in Catholic religious education in Flanders. Moreover, other Christian denominations and religions in Flanders are tending more and more towards this approach of religious education, united in a joint effort against a state-imposed and neutral form of education, limited to worldviews, ethics, and philosophy. The teacher's training situates itself against the background of the general view of K. Leuven on teaching and learning, centered around the concept of the disciplinary future self of the student. This research-based theory implies that the motivation of the student to study is considerably strengthened when students are invited as soon and as concretely as possible to form an identity as, in this case, future teachers in religion. When students are motivated in this way, they perform better, encountering the more in-depth learning of a Catholic university and in a context of complete identity formation. Students learn to understand and to recognize the distinction between catechesis and religious education. This distinction remains all the more vital given the diversity inside Belgian Catholic schools today and given the compulsory aspect of the religious education. Since catechesis presupposes the free participation in a particular faith, religious education cannot be restricted to catechesis. Learning to understand and appreciate diversity is therefore a central goal and curriculum component in the training of teachers in religion at KU Leuven. From the outset, Students are invited to reflect on their own beliefs and spirituality. They discover if and to what extent they can situate themselves into the normative framework of the hermeneutical communicative model. Here, a proprietary empirical instrument is applied with the student to assess their degree and potential for so-called post-critical belief. Post-critical believers reject a literal reading of religious traditions and, having themselves confronted the critique vis-a-vis -vis religions and religiosity, remain aware of the multitude of worldview options, while nevertheless opening themselves progressively post-critique to be inspired by and devoted to the mediations of one's tradition to relate with the divine. Crucial to a comprehensive teaching program is the integration of the theological and the pedagogical components. Students learn at a master's level to deal with the Bible, 
tradition, and human experience from a historical hermeneutical, a systematic hermeneutical, and a practical hermeneutical perspective. A central theological concept is to enable the student to recontextualize the religious tradition, to understand the meaning of the tradition in its original context, and to learn to redefine its meaning in a new, actual context. Within this theological context, the hermeneutical communicative model is introduced. Students learn to understand and to develop a threefold hermeneutics, a hermeneutics of religious texts, of the actual context, and of the biographies of their pupils. Central to the hermeneutical communicative model is that students learn to avoid the pitfalls of so-called monocorrelation the imposition of one possible meaning upon the tradition, context, or life experience of the student. HCM works with hermeneutical intersections, the conflicts of interpretations that become the engine of the didactical learning process. Another central framework is the development of so-called inter-worldview competencies among the pupils. Students become capable of crossing over their own hermeneutical space to that of the other and to come back in a transformed way. In the didactical translation of HCM, we instruct future teachers to follow the WSM strategy to become witnesses of the tradition, specialists in their own and other religions, and moderators of the hermeneutical learning process of the pupils. In taking up these three roles, we want our future teachers in religion to realize the following three goals in their pupils. First, becoming aware of and being challenged by the plurality of worldviews in our contemporary world and society. Secondly, knowing and situating the meaning of the Christian faith in the context of a plurality of worldviews. Thirdly, empowered to take account of one's worldview in light of the plural character of worldviews and in dialogue with the meaning offered by the Christian faith. Since 2002, to support future teachers in their professional development, the Center for Academic Teachers Training hosts a website for all religious educators in the Low Countries, Thomas. On this site, 22,000 members are registered. Here, students learn to interact with colleagues and to use the electronic instruments and applications that were developed to support teachers in religion, such as an instrument to communicate with the inspectors of religious education. The Academic Center also developed a series of manuals for all six years of secondary school, based on the HCM model, called Kaleidoscope. Finally, a religion teacher is not only responsible for courses in religion, but often also for pastoral work at school and is an identity coach on the school level. The Center for Academic Teachers Training has an extensive international research line called EXI, Enhancing Catholic School Identity, centered around the idea of a recontextualizing Catholic dialogue school. The EXI research is compulsory for students in the teacher's training program through an international MOOC offered on the platform of edX and also available for a broader audience. In fact, the Catholic Dialogue School, as recognized by the Vatican, is a place of dialogue between a context of diversity and the Catholic tradition, and the course of religion is the training ground for such a dialogue. Our religion teachers are worldview specialists, witnesses of the tradition, and moderators in such a dialogue. We hope that in this way they can contribute to a future society where identity and diversity can go hand in hand.